Hey guys, selamat datang kembali di channel ini ya dan ya kita melanjutkan lagi di nasi wario studionya. Oke, sekarang kita di Battle of Siapi ya. Nah, di mana di battle sebelumnya itu kita berada di One Castle ya. Nah, di One Castle itu Chow-Chow terkena tipu oleh si Zhang Xiu ya dan juga si Jiaxu. Nah, padahal kita udah nyerang si One Castle. Nah, dia menyerah nih si Jiaxunya. Nah, namun di balik menyerah itu dia mengepung Chow-Chow ya. Dan setelah pengepungan terjadi si Dianwei bodyguardnya si Chow Chow itu meninggal di sana ya atau mati di sana. Oke sekarang kita di Battle of Siapi ya dan kita beraliansi dengan si Liu Bei nih. Kita langsung aja ke Battle of Let's Go. Eh tapi sebelum itu uh... nah, ini udah ya. Oh pas banget nih <laughs> senjata senjata lubu ya. Senjata apa namanya senjatanya? Gambar lubu. Oke. Ini biar nih lah. Skillnya oh belum skill ya. Gue bakal naikin skillnya dulu. Skill musuh, skill point up. Nah ini nih. Skill aduh. Skill 5 TH attack. Dan juga yang ini. Oh, yang ini. Hmm, ini aja kali ya. Oke, kita langsung ke battle ya. Let's go. Lord Cao Cao, I thank you for helping me recapture Shu Province. Oh, jadi kita membantu si Liu Bei ya buat rebut kembali ini Shu Province yang diambil alih oleh si Lu Bu ya. Lu Bu is an enemy to us all. It was something I would have done with or without you. In any case, I am great. I do not engage in actions that do not provide me. For example, somebody like I. Well, it is about time I. Okay. Lubu itu musuh se semua ya dari Suwei Bu dan Cao Cao akan melakukannya tanpa atau dengan si Liu Bei nya ini ya jadi ini kesempatan kita buat buat beraksi ya ini kalau Cao Dun di sini gue suka nih game game skill keduanya es iya combo keduanya sih mantap nah combo ketiganya begitu oh combo keempat begitu lihat combo kelimanya tuh dua tiga empat lima oh belum ya mau kita belum lihat ini oke kita coba ya kalau dari atas dulu Oh, bukan main dari bawah. Sama mantap mantapnya sih. Hmm. Dan ini di DW7 untuk mainin lubunya di story mode nggak ada ya? Karena otor nggak ada. Yang ada cuma Jin doang ya. Selain Su, U dan W cuma jin doang yang ada si jin itu kerajaannya si si mai ya eh langsung mati ke si lah eh. ini masih sarap ini oh kita harus muter nih kalau gak salah sih ke zhang liao dulu nih Ini mungkin mungkin si si Jang Liu ya, Liu Bu. If I remember right, there is a floodgate nearby. If we can break it, we can flood out the castle. Oke, jadi kita harus ini ya, hit the floodgate. Ini cuma tadi. Oke, I'm ready to get serious now. Senjata apa nih si Kuji? Kalian celot. Biasanya gue ketemu Zhang Liu di sini. Oh, mungkin kita harus ke food gate nya dulu. Ini dari bawah nih, nih. ikutin gue aja. Mau seribu raja, eh mau seribu jenderal dulu. Apa kalian bisa ngalami jalan gue? 
<laughs> Saya uyong juga kan Oke kebuka Kebuka gak? Kebuka dong Terbang Gak kebuka Oh udah udah Open the whole gate Oke Kita banjirin dulu nih si Si api kesannya tiga ternyata bukan bulat oke sudah kita banjirin si Alfie Kessel but here is where the real battle begins we must claim Lu Bu's head don't fall behind Guan Yu my lord masa siapa nih uh matanya percis general oh jadi di sini penyebab Xiao Dun belum apa namanya ditutup matanya satu ya. Oh, Lugu bertahu juga nih. Tapi tapi siapa itu yang mana ya? Lokan kan matanya masih belum ini ya. Langsung aja lah. Ini kalau tahu yang mana nih langsung gue kejar. Eh buntu cuy. Harus ke sini um, tempat tadi. Langsung ke masuk ke siapi kesel. Dubu, I'm coming for your head. Anjay. Yeah, eh. <laughs> Ini ada balista nih. <laughs> Momen pertama kali gua ketemu Balista ya. Oh, enggak oh, ada Balista itu aman. <laughs> nah, seperti gua makin gua nyu kemarin ya. Jalan Balista ini susah. Oke, kita langsung aja ke atas. Coba lubuk kita pakai kuda nih gua nih. Gak kena lubunya sih Tendang Bisa tinggal Masuk mati Masih dia ucan mayat Ini aku gak ngerti sih tulisannya ya Di pedih senjatanya tuh Dan ya inilah akhir dari Lubu. Zhang Liao. Loosen these ropes. <laughs> They're just right for a wild animal. Shahu Duin. Nampak langsung dia makai langsung. Matanya langsung dikasih kayak bajak laut ya. I hear that you make use of talented enemies. Nah ini dia nih. Then use yang nyanyatin kita di One Piece ya, si Jiaksu. Have some dignity, Lu Bu. Die like a man of courage and integrity. Jiwa seorang warrior ya. Si Jiang Liao. Kill Lu Bu. Hahaha. Curse you! Why? So, would you have shown mercy to that animal? Kamu belas kasihan sama animal itu, orang itu. Kill me! Kill me! I am ready to die. No. No. Stand, Zhang Liao. You will be an integral part of my plans. Kan berguna ya buat rencana si Cao Cao ni. Cao Cao managed to defeat Lu Bu at Shu Province. 
With that battle behind him, he moved toward a massive confrontation with his old friend, Yuan Shao. First, he lent some troops to Liu Bei and gave him orders to eliminate Yuan Shu. Cao Cao figured that Liu Bei would relish the opportunity to face such a powerful opponent. And just as he expected, Liu Bei immediately set out for battle. Indeed, Cao Cao would use anybody at his disposal in order to further his ambitions, even the Emperor himself. However, his actions began to lead to unrest within the Imperial Court. And so, the Emperor issued a decree that Cao Cao was to be assassinated. As ordered, Liu Bei attacked the Yuan Shu army and emerged victorious. In his weakened state, Yuan Shu was no longer a match for Cao Cao and passed away shortly thereafter. It was then that suddenly Liu Bei rose in rebellion. Cao Cao was determined to bring his massive army down upon Liu Bei's forces, leaving none unpunished. Liu Bei was a mere nuisance whose blind devotion to the concept of virtue would only lead to more chaos. Liu Bei's army crumbled before the might of Cao Cao's ambition. Once again, Liu Bei was forced to wander the land with no place to call his own. As a result of this fierce battle, Cao Cao welcomed a new general into his ranks. It was none other than Guan Yu, a warrior who combined honor, loyalty, bravery, and intelligence into one formidable package. Having coveted Guan Yu for a long time, Cao Cao was pleased to finally have him by his side. Finally, he was ready to face his old friend Yuan Shao. Having made the necessary preparations, he advanced his army toward Guan Du, the site where all would be decided. Cao Cao and Yuan Shao, their battle for control of the land was about to begin. Okay, kita make si Cao Pi ya. Si dia tu. It's clear what strategy we must use. Hmm, kemungkinan. Sebelum si Mai, si Jiaksu kali ya, yang jadi strategi kali strategi Wei. But Yuan Shao is indecisive and imperceptive. He is a man of the past. This should be enough to deal with him. However, the problem is those decoys, though. The enemy is so great in number that they'll be simply overrun. Exactly. <laughs> You're a smart man. I can see why our lord values you so. Forgive me. It was not my place to speak out. Then you will have to go yourself, father. Hmm, anak kedua cao cao ya. Anak kesatunya siapa ya? Quite brilliant, Lord Zhao Bi. Your father must be proud. Okay, let's go. Zhao Bi. Lord Zhao Zhao is the perfect bait. We can lure out the enemy both by mouth. As he makes his advance, then we can squeeze the enemy in the center. I see. You look to divide and priest. Our Lord and I will attack. Understood. Very well. Okay, guys. Sekarang kita berada di Battle of. Tadi apa tu? Guandu, Guandu Castle ya. Dan ya, mungkin kita akan ketemu si siapa sih? Si Liu Bei ya dari Su. Dan ini si Zhang Liao sudah jadi kawe ya. Karena tidak tidak jadi dibunuh oleh si Chow Chow Chow. The enemy numbers are immense. However, if everybody. Okay, mungkin sampai segini aja dulu ya untuk. Video Dynasty Warrior Studio-nya dari kajian Wei dan mungkin akan dilanjutkan di next content ya. Di mana di next content itu kita berada di sini ya, di mana Battle of Guandu.
Oke, okay, terima kasih yang udah nonton video ini dari awal sampai habis ya. Dan terima kasih juga yang udah like, comment, share, and subscribe channel ini. Oke, okay, see you in the next video. Terima kasih, gua pamit. Bye bye.